Hi guys, this is Cindy. Um, today I just wanted to share um, a card with you. Uh, this is from Lyric Lover 810. Uh, basically, this is a uh, the name of the cha the giveaway challenge is a uh, Lyric Lover 810 Fun Giveaway Challenge, and this is for um, Amber said that we should make a card for one of her moms. It was either her mom who likes. Um, colors, spring colors I think, and then her mother-in-law who likes vintage. And I was hoping I would get her mother-in-law because I love vintage. And um, her name is Sona and she likes vintage. And I'm doing a video response for Amber. Um, so anyways, this is what I came up with. Um, I don't know, I really like it. It's very, very heavy and I didn't I didn't want it that heavy, but it's pretty heavy. So let me tell you what I did. So first, I had gone to Joanne and gotten the corrugated uh, uh, paper, but they didn't have the, 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 the card. So I had to get the flat side. I forgot to take that out, but let me show you which one I'm talking about. Oops. This one. Sorry, it's upside down. This one comes four in a piece for like 150 Four in, I'm sorry, four in a pack for 150 which was really good. So I went ahead and bought that. So I added that as a background. And then I just added black cardstock. And then I added some, I cut out some paper that um, homeschool mom um, sent to me in her giveaway challenge. So I cut that out to its size and I used that as a background. And then for this background paper that you see, I use Ivory Distress from TPC Studios. This cost me um, $1.99 at uh, Tuesday morning, so it's kind of like a, an ivory color, which I loved. And this is the awesome part. So I cut it out bigger than the corrugated board because I knew that once I... Uh, yeah, this, let me tell you first. So I cut out this paper, the, the same size as the corrugated board, and I burnt the edges. Um, the What inspired me was um, I was watching Sounds of Anarchy. There's this episode where the son throws the uh, a book from his father into the fire, but then he takes it back out because he regrets uh, throwing it into the fire. And I like how the papers look burnt on the edges. So that's what inspired me. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to do that for um, Sona. So, so I got the ivory. I cut it bigger than the corrugated board. And then I burnt the edges. I know some of, in some of the areas I burnt it more than the others, but that's okay. I love it. And then just here, you see these marks right here? I just put the lighter on top of it, and it gave it that flame look. That's, that's the flame. That's the flame from the lighter I was using. So it gave it that. And then I stamped cake and candles with this copper color I have gotten at Tuesday morning. And I put, um, spelled out Sona, and I painted it. Uh, raw umber, umber um, that I uh, got from um, <coughs> excuse me Tuesday morning, and I used the Seven Gypsies um, uh, Paddington chipboard alphabet um, from Soa, Sua from Sua. Uh, let me scrapbooking that I won in the first 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 giveaway ever. So I used that, and then this flowers. This flowers was from the Michael uh, Michael stores, and I just put that on. And then these flowers were from Color Me Flowers, I think. This ones, this one from Tuesday morning that cost ninety nine cents. And I made my own um, my own. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. But I made that, and I made some in pink, which. There you go, made some in pink. And um, I sprayed, I used the brown and I sprayed on the flower. So it looks like pink, it doesn't look brown. I wanted it brown, but it didn't look brown. So then these chipboards, I got it from Michaels for like uh, 50 cents. And what I did, I basically embossed it with my embossing pen. Um, the white one, I, I used the Ranger one. This one. I embossed it. I embossed the flower part first with gold, and then I and then I colored the flower and I embossed it with yellow. And then 
on the remaining on the remaining uh, cardboard I went in back with the marker in between and then embossed it clear and I did the same thing with the bird and I really like how it came out and then this black flowers and this pink one also came from uh, Tuesday morning flowers the, the one that comes in a packet and I stamped cake and candles with a uh, copper I think I said that and then I just added a stick pin in the inside, nothing much. I'm not going to write anything just in case she wants to um, do something, but I'm not going to write anything. So I just put three little um, uh, half, half pearl dots in here, just here, very plain and simple. And in the background, I used the same ivory paper because I had leftover and I didn't want to waste any. So then I stamped it with... Um, the stamps I got from Tuesday morning. It says uh, Prima Marketing Inc. Uh, it's called Build a Swirl. So, and I used this one on the background and I just stamped it all over. <clears throat> all over the edges so I won't have to waste ink. Just, that's it. And this is my card chair. Um, nothing on the back because it's just like the corrugated paper. But I just, but the top is very heavy. I didn't think it was gonna, going to be that heavy, but it's very heavy. And and I just glued down everything because I don't. And then I, I think this is the only thing that I uh, 3D popped. This one, this little cute flower, and then my stick pin. And I think that's it, guys. I, I hope I didn't miss anything. But um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And um, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.